these are the products we're going to use. We're going to use some thick, very vanilla cardstock, some gold foil, some mossy meadow, afternoon um, designer, after, uh, uh, daffodil, afternoon daffodil designer series paper, and um, some other miscellaneous pieces. I have everything on a free video tutorial, um, downloadable tutorial for you, so you don't have to write all these measurements, but I'll quickly go over how we're going to um, score and cut this piece of paper on the eight and a quarter inch side. Remember, not eight and a half, but eight and a quarter inch side. We're going to score it two inches all the way down. Then we're going to put it on the long 11 inch side and we're going to score at one inch, three and a half inch, six inch, and eight and a half inch. For the gold foil, we're going to cut this at four and a half by four and a half. We're going to score one inch all the way around. The layering a mossy meadow cardstock is going to be cut at two and a quarter by six and a quarter and you're going to need four panels. Same thing with the designer series paper. You're going to cut this at two by six inch and you'll need four panels of this as well. You'll need one panel of mossy meadow cardstock that is cut two and a quarter inch square. You'll need a three inch by five inch piece of very thick vanilla and I punched out two of the large daisies from the large daisy punch. Then I cut a piece of half inch by two and a half inch and I used the cheers to you stamp uh, stamp from the whiskey business um, stamp set this one right here and I went ahead and stamped it ahead of time on my uh, half inch by two and a half inch piece of vanilla cardstock with some memento black ink because if I get on camera I never get it straight. When I do it here without my camera on it it works fine. And then a small half inch um, circle of gold foil for the center of my daisy. So what we're going to do is on the large piece of thick vanilla cardstock we are going to cut away this square of the cardstock and I'm coming in just a little bit from the edge and we're going to come in on these four score lines and then just cut just a teeny tiny bit off of each end to create a little mini V. You'll see it here in a second. Okay, we're going to do that to the other two panels here. This is really an easy box to put together. Um, I think you're going to really enjoy it. So many different things you can put in it. So I'm going to burnish all my score lines. Make sure I have nice crisp edges because I don't like to have lumpy seams here. So I'm going to continue scoring this and I'm going to score the bottom as well of each of these little panels. There we go. Okay, open that up. Then I'm going to add some tear and tape here. You can use whatever adhesive you like. I'm going to go ahead and use tear and tape. And then I'm going to add some liquid glue on top of it because this little quilting square that I'm using to cut it off, in case you're wondering. I'm going to add some uh, liquid adhesive on there in case I need a little bit of maneuvering time. I'm going to do the same thing for my panels as these are going to go in and around but those I'm going to go ahead and glue with my with my um, liquid adhesive this is pretty strong. So we're going to take this little panel off of here and this should fold up perfectly square. I just bring that in. I like to do it this way so I can see make sure I'm squared up on all four sides. And it makes you a perfectly square little box. Now I'm going to look to see where that edge is of my panel.
panel and that's going to be towards the back. So I'm going to pull these two down on the opposite side. I'm going to add some liquid adhesive and fold that down. You could use 12 inch cardstock if you want this to be all the way to the edge. I didn't think a whole lot of folks had 12 inch so I went ahead and used the 11 inch to show, share with you how to create this. But you can easily use your 12 inch cardstock if you like that better for the panels to come all the way. Remember this is the side of my cardstock that I want facing towards the back. So my last panel is going to be facing toward the back. I'm going to flip this over and using my bump folder I'm going to give that a little press to ensure that adhesive sticks well. Okay. Okay. Find out where my front panel is. Then I'm going to bring in my decorative panels. You don't have to um, add them to a, a separate sheet of of cardstock you can just place your um, designer series paper of choice on each of your panels but I liked it a little bit better with having just a little bit more that didn't line up well now did it that's why I use liquid glue so I have time to move it around so I'm going to add this here and give it time to set up while I place the next panel on It also gives your box a little bit more stability, even though using that thick, very vanilla cardstock helps a lot too. Adding these panels just gives it a little bit more strength, I think. So we'll just keep adding these panels as we go forward. Now that we have all those panels put together, we're going to add them to our box bottom. Again, I'm going to use liquid glue because as you can see, things shift on me and I want to have a little bit of time to get them on there perfectly straight. Okay, give it a little press. Since so this is a perfectly square box, all these panels are the same size and they should all fit perfectly nice on there. I can feel my box getting a little sturdier with that extra cardstock that we're adding to the side of the box. And albeit the wine bottle is not, it's not very heavy, You just want to make sure you have some good stability and be careful. Be mindful of the orientation of your designer series paper. You don't want your flowers being upside down like I almost did a minute ago. Okay, that's it. That is the bottom of your box. Looks pretty already. Now let's work on the lid. We're going to go ahead and score on all these fold lines. Give it a nice crisp edge. Using our gold foil cardstock, you can use any cardstock if you don't want to use gold foil. And only on this side am I going to take a little bit off because that gets tucked underneath. Do this side. Take a little bit off here and here. And I'm going to do the opposite side as well, these two little panels.
and one more. Again, use your favorite adhesive. I'm going to use my liquid glue to square these little panels together. Let me show you a little tip that I have to ensure your lid is going to fit on your box. Is I will place my lid on top of my box when I've got two more panels left to glue. I'll add it to the top, then I will add adhesive to these two panels, ensuring that my box lid fits perfectly. Tuck that in there. It fits perfectly square. And then the last little panel, add my adhesive, and it fits perfect every time. So now we have the box bottom, and we have the box lid. Let's decorate the top of the box by adding the two and a quarter by two and a quarter inch piece of mossy meadow cardstock. that on top best we can then like I said I've taken some vanilla cardstock and punched out two of my daisies and I did it in vanilla because my card here is out of vanilla so I'm going to add a little bit of adhesive and I'm going to Put these together to give them a little more oomph. I bring in my bone folder, curl my my flowers here just a little bit to give it some pizzazz. Going to add my liquid adhesive, add my center dot, and then this will go on here. Center it as best you can. All right. Now we've got our sentiment that we've stamped um, and are ready to place on the side of my panel. I'm going to add some mini dimensional because that's what I have in front of me to my sentiment. I like to add enough to go across because I don't like my projects concaving. Move the backing and stick it to the front of my box panel. There you have it, your mini wine bottle holder. Take this one and add it to the inside. I have more in the fridge, but I forgot to pull it out so it wouldn't be all wet. Okay. And again, this is the Afternoon Daffodil Designer Series paper. Um, it, it'll no longer be available come um, after uh, March 1st. So if you'd like to place an order to obtain this paper, make sure you do so by February 28th on my online store. I'd appreciate any business you can give me. And um, we will see you on the next video. Thank you all so much and hope you all have a blessed day.